Um, Jeremy, also near to the scene, and you've seen a lot of uh, police and uh, ambulance activity where you are this morning. A huge amount, Kay, yes. There's a lot of activity on this N1 motorway just above our position here, which is the main arterial route in and out of Paris from the northeast. And it's where the activity over the last uh, 24, 36 hours has been going on. Bonjour, monsieur. Non, non, merci. <laughs> uh, the gendarmerie just uh, politely asking if we'd like to move along. They'd like to move us away from this roundabout, but I think it's more for relieving traffic problems than for any great strategic reason. So uh, I'm rather inclined to stay put uh, because I think this is about as near as we are likely to better get to the where the. Uh, hostage situation is taking place and some people are calling it a potential end game here where the two uh, suspects, the Kouachi brothers, are now holed up in this printing works about a mile just up the end to from where I am and we've seen uh, convoys of uh, armed gendarmerie heading up the road there as well as seeing helicopters overhead in this uh, very misly, misty French morning here. It's cold and wet and I'm sure difficult for all those on the ground and for the helicopters that have been hovering overhead. But um, at the moment here, it's more of a, a waiting and watching situation. The village of uh, Damartin, on which we're on the southern outskirts, is in complete lockdown, as you've been hearing. And the gendarmerie really here just trying to keep us out of the situation, trying to keep m traffic moving away from the village so that uh, there is no danger of whatever happens at the end of this drama spilling over and affecting the public. The people in the village of Demartin obviously have been told to stay in their homes in the local school. Uh, the children and their teachers have been uh, told to lock themselves in there. And uh, at the moment, it appears that the counter-terrorism units are in contact with the two men, the Kouachi brothers, trying to negotiate them uh, to what they would hope is a peaceful end. But when the uh, Prime Minister here, Manuel Valls, talks about uh, neutralizing the perpetrators, it does raise questions about just how this whole two-day long drama will come to an end but it does feel that we perhaps are in the final phases <clears throat> of this particular period although as uh, Martin Brunt was saying earlier it's the police and the uh, special counter-terror units will not be in any hurry uh, to bring this to a violent conclusion they would prefer to wait out this situation in the hope that they can actually achieve a peaceful end to this but uh, we're now in a waiting game as that uh, hostage situation uh, continues in the village of Demartin.